love bugs is rustling back at you one more again i hope everybody is doing blessed i'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you and if this is your first time stopping by my channel much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs my growing extended beautiful family just thank you so much for the love and support sharing the videos give me a thumbs up dropping these comments and just basically being able to connect with me is really a beautiful thing so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please what are you waiting for like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girls about to upload their next video also if you're comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback and the content of my video you're just up telling me about your impact to give how it impacted your life and hit you towards a positive direction also, if you feel like the video is very informative to you or just gave you some uh, good vibes that you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow impact that are going through some really dark times right now and need validation and confirmation to their, you know, towards their journey, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites, wherever you see fit. Once again, thank you so much for the love and support that you've been giving me. It's so greatly appreciated. And I love you all from the bottom of my heart. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today I'm listening to 400, I mean 741 hertz, body detox cell purif purification, remove toxins, and cleanse cells. And I will post that link in the description box below. Y'all, I've been getting carried away with making my little thumbnails. I keep on finding all these beautiful pictures, and I'm just like, okay, I'm going to stop. And that was like about 20, 30 minutes ago. So I was probably been doing this video a while back, but I just got carried away. I need me some more thumbnail pictures. But today, my video is about Twin Flame 101, Hey Okas, Parting with the Death of the Ego. Y'all know we are upgrading, downloads, side loads, uploads, whatever. All these different things since, you know, the universe has got us going through this this trial and error, you know, and it's just like you were starting to think more of with your intuition, you know, going with your gut instincts, not allowing ego to take over you and rule you because we, you know, we have a bad habit of doing that sometimes, you know, um, like our our ego is like the most insecure thing I in my opinion is the most insecure thing within us ourselves you know if like I've told y'all before when we're going through transitioning and you know you're you're trying to become the best version of yourself going through all these different things that you're going through and the ego will always be on the side of your ear oh lord it's going to take forever for you to do this or you know you can't you know you can't do this without this you know you know you need to keep on with that you know i used to constantly hear that when i needed a cigarette just to get through a stressful moment or i had to light up or roll you know roll me a joint or whatever just to get rid of the you know just to take away from the issues and the pain and the voices the energy you know that i was trying to block myself from and then it's just like, you know what, when is enough going to be enough for me? You know, it's always going to be excuse. There's always going to be problems. You know, there's always going to be issues. But I can't keep on handling the way I'm doing it because it's not healthy. You know, because um, I feel like any addiction, and it doesn't have to necessarily be a drug. It can be the way of your thought process, the how, how you react to certain things, how you let things get to you, how you let things fester up um just negative thinking towards yourself and others you know those are addictions anything that's putting a negative vibe towards you is an addiction if you keep handling those ways and it's just like the more you are you know seeing things for what they are knowing okay things are have to have to change you know you get signs all the time you know when it was like when i was smoking weed all the time either i I wouldn't be able to get the the high off of it like I was before I used to do it because I was able to it would be easier for me to get towards my higher self uh, get the messages from the powers that be being able to you know give y'all the information I had before now it's just like I put my meditation music on become one with myself listen to the things that are coming towards my way paying attention to the visions I don't need cigarettes I don't need weed I just do it on my own facing my problems they're not gonna go away unless I am, am I part ways with them and see what they are things that I need to work on you know enhancing myself in ways that I felt weak before and I said you know what am I allowing my ego to get the best of me you know I said ego is got to go 
you know, you have to tell them to have a couple, couple of seats, you know, and you're, when you're, you know, you're getting better at it when things come up in your mind and you're not being affected by your old thoughts or your old habits that comes through. Cause there's times I ain't even going to lie to y'all. There's times I get real stressed out. I'm like, Oh, you know what? I need me a blunt right now. You know, and now I'm just like, you know what? It is what it is. If you can't control it and you can't fix it, what can you do? <laughs> just what can you do? So it's just like now I'm handling it one day at a time, you know, and I have to sit back and think to myself, you know what? I'm so proud of you, self, because there's been stuff that's coming at you like like crazy darkness is really, you know, it's like, you know, you need that, you know, you need you need that to take the edge off. I'm like, no, I don't. <laughs> you know, I'm just allowing myself to know because it's like it's it's prolonging my growth is, you know, it's not my growth on in my process for me allowing those things to get in my way for me to have to deal, you know, um, being able to think my think of myself in a positive direction. You know, even though ego might say, oh, you know what, you're never going to meet your family or you're never going to, you know, make anything of, you know, doing your videos. And I'm just like, ego, if you don't shut the heck up. I said, you know, I'm doing, you know, I'm doing what I need to do day by day. I got signs that's let me know, you know, whatever is whatever. Whatever flows through me, it flows through me. If it's meant for me, it will be for me, you know, and I can't be focused on that. Right now, it's, it's about me bettering myself, seeing what I can get out of my situation in a positive, you know, in a positive way, using a positive plat platform to be able to get my awareness across, being able to help other empaths that feel like they're stuck or they need someone to talk to or they need somebody to understand them. You know, and it, it's just like it gets hard for us because, you know, we can be in a level where it's hard for us to actually vocalize ourselves with certain people because you some of them are awake some of them are still going through their transition of going heading towards a, uh, a spiritual you know awakening things are happening to them left and right left and right so they can't focus on the things that you know you're trying to vocal, vocal uh be voiced up about so you're going through all these different things and being able to do things in a positive way you know not being able to let you know and sometimes when we're in our uh human form we allow stressful things to really get to us at times, you know, because it's like sometimes I get frustrated on certain things that I'm, you know, I'm still dealing with. But now it's like it's becoming easier. You know, I might be mad for a few minutes and say, you know what, if you can't change it or improve that situation, let that mess go and let it fix itself. You know, the universe going to handle that, whatever. You know, you got everything that you need right now. If it's something if it's something like a want that, you know, it'll come when it needs to. But other than that, you got everything you need. You're doing it what you need to do step by step. Just, you know, remain positive. Have faith in the universe that they got your back. And we need to do that. Because sometimes we try to put faith in ourselves. And you need to have faith in the universe. Yeah, you can have faith in yourself to do what you need to do. But you need to have faith in the universe that they're going to be protecting you. You know, sometimes we, 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 we run up, we play against the, the current. And you know you need to flow with it instead of fighting against it because that, that's how we get stuck in the first place. But being able to part with the death of your ego, you know, when, you, when you're actually not paying attention to that, you know that you're on that level or heading towards that level you need to be. Being on that positive journey for yourself, you having that mindset to, you know what, what's going to be for me will be for me. You know, you can't listen to negative naysayers out there because people don't see their dreams. They ain't going to see yours and they're not going to understand yours. But they will sure throw a monkey wrench in your progress if they see that you, you know, you become competition. So don't allow that to get, you know, get in your way as well because those things do happen. I've, I've seen it in my life so many times. That's why I'm just like, uh-uh, I ain't got time. <laughs> I don't have time. I, I, I'm working on something right now. So it's just like you have to come that mission on yourself, being able to work on yourself, not worrying about what's going on around you, not paying attention to somebody else's journey because that's their journey. You're not supposed to understand their journey. You're only supposed to understand yours. God sent God and universe sent you one way and they sent them another way. If you y'all can elevate together, hey, that's all good. You know, we need those people on our level that, you know, you can have these deep conversations with, have somebody understand you as you're understanding them. Being able to know we're all able to go to the finish line. You know, if God was able to bless me, universe is able to bless me, he can bless you too. You just have to work hard for it. And when you work hard for it, then they're going to say, you know what? They earned that. They earned it. 
They're not listening to the ego. They're not letting the ego get the best of them. They're not listening to the naysayers, you know, not paying attention to what other people have. Because it's like when you start look, paying attention to what everybody else have. I remember when I first started doing YouTube, I can see how people were putting their, their videos up, not in five minutes, and already had 2,000 and some odd views already. Me, I said, but you got to understand, they've been doing this longer than you. You don't know what they had to do to get to where they had to get. So you're just starting. You have to be consistent with it. You know, there's times, you know, people are like, Rosalyn, you need to slow down. You, I can't catch up with the videos. It'll still be there. I got, <clears throat> I'm got, i doing what I'm sent to do. Because it's like I'm covering every nick, nick and cranny that I have to because we're all struggling with different things. And we need understanding. We need to know we're not alone in this process. Am I going the right path? Am I aiming towards the things that I definitely need to go towards? These are all the questions that we have bottled up in our head that we need to know. Am I doing the right thing? You know, you know, am I am I putting myself where I need to be? Am I, you know, am I lollygagging or am I up on it? You know, there's a whole bunch of things that you're, you know, you're trying to, you know, you're at have all these questions. Sometimes we have more questions than we do answers. But that's what it is on our journey. We're learning more. We're getting wiser. You know, you're having self-love. You're having self-respect, self-knowledge. You know, you're growing every day. You learn new things every day. You know, elevating yourself on where you need to be. So, you know, when you're going through the death of the ego, it can be hard at times. But just know it's going to, you know, it's going to reap the benefits you need to have. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. Like and subscribe. Go ahead and let me know what you feel, you know, your, your opinion on that situation. You know, so I can go ahead and give you a post uh, notification shout out. And, you know, share. Give me a thumbs up. Remember, hit the notification and subscribe and share. And I will see you on my next video. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. And go out and send, you know, much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. You never know. One kind word can really take somebody a long way. And a post notification shout out goes to Anne Marie Slee, uh, Katie Strait. Much love to you. Um, let me see who else, who else, who else. Diamond King, much love. And I will see you on my next video. Much love, peace, and be wild.